What's resistant to fireballs, incredible at metallurgy, and taller than a giraffe on stilts? I am Ivan with Many Realms, and today Ed Greenwood is talking all about fire giants, including some notable and specific fire giants that are ready to be deployed in your next game. Fire giants. These master forgers and metalworkers are trained, organized warriors and dwell in volcanically active mountains above and below ground. They are numerous, deep beneath the Alamir, Omlarandin, Marching and Cloven Mountains, and in handfuls can be found deep beneath the Stormhorns, the Sword Mountains, and the North Sword Mountains. Some fire giants believe, as the result of visions recently experienced by the fire giant elder Rohar of Deep Fires, and Deep Fires is a fire giant hold within the heart of the central and highest peaks of the Marching Mountains. And it's called deep fires because, hey, there are volcanic or magma flows that are exposed in brief palaces so they can use them for forges, so therefore deep fires. That their kind has been charged by the god Surtur to seek out the flame undying, a rock that burns with unfailing flames yet is never consumed. Whoever possesses it shall enjoy the deity's favor shall be healed when sorely wounded, and even rise from death, and shall lead all fire giants to greatness, founding an empire of ruled human lands. Thanks to Rohar's visions, this floating rock is thought to be as large as a large adult giant, and believed by those fire giants who revere the idea of the flame undying to be somewhere beneath a Sword Coast city, presumably in cellars, sewers, or deeper, natural passages and caverns. It should be noted that some fire giants believe Rohar is mad, and that the entire notion of the flame undying is foolishness that will lead the race astray. Those who revere the flame seek it, and at the same time plunder human stores for metal and finished weapons, whenever they can do so, without leaving survivors who can raise the alarm among humans. They're doing this both to deprive humans of weapons and to gain the metals for themselves, to be reforged into tools and weapons useful to fire giants. They are also eyeing the large herds of edible livestock kept by humans in the vicinity of large coastal cities like Waterdeep and brought to such cities for sale and prey upon such food stores whenever they can. Fire giant names often end in er or r, that is U R or A R, er or r, and often have two or three syllables. It's the height of blasphemy to have a name that sounds too close to that of the gods Surtur. If you're enjoying this video, thank you very much for making it possible. Please leave me a like, leave me a comment, subscribe and click the little bell icon to let you know when there's a new one from me and i would love your support so i can go on and make more of them just like this bringing the realms and all sorts of cool stuff about gaming to you i can't do it without you to support Ed directly and to help these videos get made, go to patreon.com slash edgreenwood and get access to tons of exclusive realms lore and more. And don't forget to pick up some new adventuring gear at the Ed Greenwood shop, link in the description. The fire giant Mralvrander commands the small fire giant hold of Rorov, deep under the North Sword Mountains, and he uses the title War Prince. He sends or leads frequent war bands of 12 to 20 fire giants through the Underdark, under Crypt Garden and Westwood, patrolling and scouring out the deepest areas near volcanic rifts to maintain control over this area south and southeast of the North Swords, and increasingly in response to recent cult activities in and under the Somber Hills has begun to raid east into areas of the Underdark, deep under those hills, not to mention mounting surreptitious spying forays into the Crypt Garden to find dragon lairs so they can be raided and the worms slain or driven out. 
Ralph Rander sees ever-expanding Waterdeep as both a threat and rich pickings to be raided to keep humans fearful and to hamper their endless expansion. He's not above capturing monsters and unleashing them on human outposts and settlements, but he wants human pack animals and livestock as food for Rorum. He regards the flame undying belief as a test set by Surtur to separate the weaklings among fire giants who can be distracted by such nonsense from the strong and true who shall lead fire giants to power and prominence in the surface realms once more. The fire giant Iligar styles himself the king under sunset, and he rules a large fire giant hold clustered around deep volcanic flows beneath the southernmost Sunset Mountains. A quiet, ruthless, calculating leader, Iligar, who possesses a black beard that flows like a carpet down his front, reaching almost to his ankles, and who is rarely seen not wearing his armor, believes when fire giants bluster and brawl and make much noise, burning when they raid and otherwise attracting attention to themselves, they are being weaklings who are harming their own causes and ventures. He also believes that attempts to seize the nearby giant fortress of Darkhold are the sort of mistakes that have kept fire giants low in rank among giants when their metalworking and martial skills and energetic lives should have made them far more highly regarded. Iligar seeks to forge alliances with dwarves and humans and gain holds over individuals of those races who can then serve him as spies and saboteurs, agents who are never, ever trusted, but always themselves watched and covertly and repeatedly tested, all to increase his hidden influence in the heartlands south of the Sunset Mountains to east and west. In other words, the southern ports of the Sea of the Fallen Stars and all along the overland caravan routes that link that inner ocean with the Sword Coast. Raid and demonstrate force whenever necessary, but make your reputation and your threats work for you just as effectively so hervers and drovers think themselves fortunate to leave a quarter of their animals penned up for the taking of the fire giants and in return be allowed to keep their own lives and the other three quarters of their stock. Welcome back to Realm Speak, the segment where we stumble over names, phrases, and odd invented words so you don't have to, so that you can have confidence at your gaming table to throw them out like a seasoned veteran that you are. And this time around, we're going to tackle this! Tharshion. This is the administrative ruler of a portion of Thay. A male is a Tharshion, and if the ruler happens to be female, they're a Tharshioness. So if you've ever encountered that word and gone, what is that? Tharshion. This Tharshioness wants you to report to the Red Chamber for execution now. 